Hey love tribe, welcome, welcome to Sarita's Intuitive Love Guidance. My name is Sarah. I'm going to be doing the Daily Divine Masculine, how he or she is feeling towards you, Divine Feminine Energy. So if you would like to book a personal reading, my information is down below. So let's go ahead and get started. See what is going on with your person today on how he or she is feeling towards you uh this energy will be an energy of how he is feeling emotionally so let's dig deeper today of what's going on with your person today what is their major emotions today what is their major emotions today so we have a miserable unhappy depressed sad energy so your person Maybe feeling unfulfilled at the moment with a situation, a third party. They could be bored without you. There is something that they could be pondering about. That maybe they made a mistake. They're not happy. So there is a depressed energy. If you feel like your person kind of feels depressed or you've been kind of feeling weird or unhappy and you can't understand why you feel this way, it's because of that soul connection that you are feeling with your person that's making you feel that way as well something could have happened too and now they're unhappy about a situation what is the major energies of your the person's let's see what's going on in their heart space what's going on in divine masculine's heart space we have a five of cups. So there is a loss here that they are dealing with. There's something here that they're so focused on. Either something negative. They're focusing on the loss. They're focusing on the pain. There's just something here that they're so focused on the negativity. And maybe it's because they're wishing for balance back in the relationship with you. Stability. Something maybe a marriage is falling apart. It could be. A situation between you and the person or they're dealing with a fair, failed marriage um, or a, a relationship that's just not going through as maybe they expected and it's something that is kind of having a tower moment of a course correction let's see what's going on in their environment what's going on in divine masculine's environment so we have a five of wands energy so there's some kind of internal battle external battle something that they're dealing with they're struggling on something there's some fighting energy maybe a lot of resistance could be going through it that you may not even realize they're battling something because we have a knight of swords energy and i feel like they're going to be coming in rushing in for some kind of communication could be spying in on you seeing what you're up to there's something here that they could um, they, they've been battling with and they don't feel happy about it. So there's something about this energy of there's their thoughts are very cloudy. If you see the clouds, it's a very rough energy. It's a very rough energy. And so they may say things that they shouldn't have done or said or meant. And y'all are fighting about it. Maybe they're wanting to rush in because they're just going through it at a home life and so it's like in their environment they're just like I'm, i just want to escape and so this is why their heart is hurting because maybe they go to you for balance and stability and they weren't able to do that so let's go let's see what's going on in your person's thoughts so their thoughts they're thinking of a feminine grounded energy you could be a airy no sorry that was a fire sign it could be a taurus virgo capricorn doesn't have to be but we have a king of wands at the bottom with the masculine energy oh, i guess that's the fire energy i wanted to say the aries leo sagittarius of uh, there's some justice here so they're trying to either balance in their own thoughts the feminine and masculine energy of uh, just getting justice, balance scales, speaking truth, trying to be more logical and calculated at this situation. Um, but this is a very passionate energy. Maybe a passionate, trying to figure out a passionate, well thought out, grounded 
solution with a, a situation there's just some kind of justice so they could be going through a separation a divorce or there's just justice that's going to get served you're going to receive some answers that you've been waiting for for a long time with this ten of wands this has been something heavy burdensome it's been a, a heavy load to carry and you're finally going to get justice divine femmes you are because there's someone from your past coming back this is a past energy. They're, they're missing the fun, playful energy. And I see a flower here. So there's going to be an offer of a reconciliation, an apology coming back around energy. Because this has been something long. It's coming to an end. Tell me more about... Why is the masculine miserable? Tell me more about this miserable energy. So they've been miserable because maybe they have been antisocial because of a gossiper energy. Maybe rumors, words coming around. Maybe they're in a third party situation and they're kind of scared that it's going to get back to the third party. And so they've been uh, in this space that they're not really talking to you at all i do see five we had a lot of five energies like that five of wands a five of cups so there is some kind of major changes happening there's could be a lot of rumors a lot of insecurity energy here and this is why they're sad they had to really isolate themselves to avoid any drama because there was some things that got leaked out that was classified between you two and it was aired out. There was some tea that was spilled. And now they are being very cautious in this situation. This could also just be, you know, embarrassed, shameful. Uh, you may have called them out on something and now they don't like that. You know, you may have said something to them and, you know, really called them out. And now they're retracting. They're kind of in this very retreating energy going through some kind of soul searching soul analysis energy tell me more about them being depressed why are they depressed this is depressed energy yeah they are afraid they may feel like you have a stone heart you're emotionless cruel they could be acting like that vice versa tailor it to your situation but that's the thing. They're scared to face the truth. They're the coward energy. They're hesitant. This is like a person underneath water. So they're drowning in their emotions. This could be like, I'm sorry, but this could be a very suicidal energy of just over it. They're tired. They're just tired of dealing with the depressed energy. And they may seem emotionless, but they're going through some things that's causing them to kind of feel very cruel and heartless to you so don't take that as you know personal don't take it personal this person is dealing with some things that they have a hard time coming forward with this cowardly energy finding the courage and the strength uh, tell me more about divine masculine's energy there's a compromise here, Divine Femmes, that they are wanting to come forward. I know that they've been kind of acting wonky or weird, but there is a teamwork energy that maybe they're getting more into that. I need to do better. I need to show up. I need to be part of this union, and I know I need to put in the work, you know? And so there's going to be a compromise coming your way. What else is going on? Yeah, your person is having an awakening. And it took some time for them to be independent. To really do a lot of soul searching. And so if you felt during this time of separation, lack of communication, little to no communication. It's because your person really needed this downtime to have this awakening. To really slow down and reflect and see that they needed to shift some priorities and values, close a chapter maybe with a third party situation, figure some things out. 
And so this could be that compromise coming in for you. They're tired of the insecurities and just kind of want to live in their truth. So they feel these cards came out. Oh my God. Look at that cowardly energy and this cowardice energy coming out. No courage, afraid to tell the truth, afraid to do the right thing. And that's very similar, you know, afraid to do the right thing, afraid to tell the truth. They're scared to face the truth. But this is some kind of guidance that your person is going through. That's the spiritual awakening. There's something here that they are either trusting their higher self, maybe a wise counsel, someone that's maybe sewing into them, helping them to wake up and see, could be a spiritual counselor could be a therapist they're getting some kind of guidance and assistance in helping them find that you know that courage and so they you if you haven't heard from them you just kind of can sense it you know divine femmes you're very intuitive feminine energy and they know that you know about them they know that you see right through them and this is could be why they they run away from you because you definitely call them out that the things that they try to mask and so when you do that it can cause a stalemate energy there may be a, a point right now that there is a very stale stuck situation but y'all are not really speaking to each other or kind of turn each other's backs because of this awakening y'all really need to kind of go separate ways sometimes to really work on self and I know that may be hard to hear or even fathom but separation is really good because you can really redirect your energies and focus on yourself because it becomes out of sight out of mind um, and continuing to talk to that person can cause a lot of triggers and um, frustration and so I do feel that your person is now in an energy of wanting to compromise because it's been a stalemate so long and now they're awakening and i think this is a beautiful energy i know it's been a long time or it's been a very hardening hardship type of a situation but i feel like you came out better divine femmes i feel like you have been shaped refined and really molded to something even better than what your masculine even knew of if they only knew the side of you now you know if they only knew let's get some messages of divine masculine on what they want to say to you we have a puzzled energy something is still missing for me and i'm trying to figure out what that is but just know that even though they're trying to figure something out they do know that you have made them a better person because of you you know they can give you that that praise they you know they may already told you that that something about you has really helped them but they really need to kind of like figure out their own karma figure out a situation that they really need to work through and um we have an apologies even though i don't show it i'm sorry for how things went between us they feel bad they do feel bad about that and I know it may seem heartless of them, but there is something here that they are fighting and struggling with. What else does Divine Masculine want to say to Divine Femmes? Oof. I do not deserve you. And this is their cowardly energy, that lack of courage and confidence. They know that you're too good for them. You're on a different caliber of a person that they probably don't feel deserving of. Um, can you truly forgive me for my mistakes? Eh. My mom and family does not like my karmic partner. Why do I even bother staying? And they may stay because of the kids. They invested so much. They think this is what they should do and what they need to do for the family. Um, but now I think they're kind of questioning it because they're awakening. Like, why am I staying? You know, I really need to get this together. So just hold tight. You know, that's why I said hold tight. What else does he or she want to say? But no matter what, they still feel so connected to you. They know that this is something, it's like a soul connection. They may not understand the titles or whatnot. They may even told you you're like their soulmate. Um, I keep writing up a message, but I end up deleting it. So 
they are wanting to say something to you if they haven't already. They are missing you and they keep getting reminders, signs, music, people, smells, perfumes that keeps like kind of like haunting them. You know, it's like they are missing you so much and they've just been desiring to write to you. And so they are questioning leaving this third party situation. And if you are in a third party situation, they're questioning if you will leave. So it's kind of like this mirrored energy. If you're wondering if they're going to leave and you're still in a situation, y'all are both mirroring. Someone needs to be the change in this relationship to kind of build this momentum and forward energy to move. So let's give an advice. What advice do you have for the Divine Femmes? Engagement. Wow. So there is something here, Divine Femmes, that y'all going to level up. There's going to be a, a higher level of commitment than you've been getting right now, okay? Not maybe a, a real ring, an engagement, or just more engagement with your person. Finally, a communication. Finally, seeing them. So, they're letting you know that there is some kind of higher level of commitment, a level up than what you've been getting. And there's a release your ex energy. The time has come to clear your energy. So, your person could be in an energy of finally releasing their ex, finally leaving this third party situation so that you too can have a higher level of commitment. So, this is a beautiful energy. And so, just know that this romantic feelings you're feeling are real and worth exploring. All right, guys, much love.